breaking. They just officially snubbed Trump. Rot in hell. News outlets have been abuzz over the recent engagement of Prince Harry and American actress Meghan Markle. The next question people have been asking is who is going to get invited. Because of Prince Harry's friendship with the Obamas it's been speculated that the former president and first lady will be invited. However, reports also indicate President Trump and first lady Melania will not be invited. Royal insiders have said that while no formal guest list has been created or released yet and that there is no reason why they would be invited. The insider further argued that the current president might not take kindly to the snub given his cancellation of his trip to England next month. The Daily Mail reported. In other US-UK developments last night, UK officials privately expressed their hope that the president could come to Britain at some point this year. Ministers are examining the idea of him visiting Scotland instead. The presidents claimed that the lease on the old embassy in Mayfair had been sold for peanuts was supported by documents showing the U.S. received nearly pound 200 million less than thought. Mr. Trump said he had called off the London trip because he disagreed with the decision to sell off the old embassy cheap. But observers suggested he did not want to run the gauntlet of protests. London Mayor Sadiq Khan was among those on the left who commented yesterday, saying it was clear that Mr. Trump had got the message that many Londoners did not want him here. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn has also said he should not be invited. Boris Johnson took aim at both men last night, accusing them of putting Britain's relationship with America at risk. He labelled Mr. Khan a puffed-up, pompous popinjay. Downing Street appeared to back his stance, with a source saying, we agree that any risk to the crucial U.S.-U.K. relationship is not in our country's best interests. The row over the visit, which sparked headlines around the world yesterday, threatens a new crisis in Britain's relations with the Trump administration. There is now no date for a visit by the president, who has been in office for a year. Royal household sources made clear that Prince Harry's nuptials were not a state occasion and would be, by royal standards at least, a more low-key family affair than the wedding of his parents or brother. Although the wedding is being attended by the Queen, it isn't an official, state occasion. It is a family event, the source said. Unless the president was a close personal friend, which he is not, there would be no protocol, no reason for him to be invited. Harry and Meghan have made clear that this is very much an occasion and a celebration for their close family and friends. Downing Street said it was a matter for the royal household. Previous royal weddings of those low down the succession list have not been attended by U.S. presidents. Richard Nixon was not present at the November 1973 wedding of Princess Anne to Captain Mark Phillips. Ronald Reagan was not present at the July 1986 wedding of Prince Andrew to Sarah Ferguson. And Bill Clinton was not at the June 1997 wedding of Prince Edward to Sophie Rhys Jones. But it is leave open the question as to whether Barack Obama who was interviewed by Prince Harry for broadcast on Radio 4 only last month, is likely to be asked. Harry now counts him as a close personal friend and his instinct would certainly be to do so. Michael Wolff, the U.S. journalist behind a controversial book on Mr. Trump, warned earlier this week that he doesn't like being snubbed. The Mail revealed yesterday that Mr. Trump had scrapped his plan to make his first visit to UK as president next month to open the new pound 1 billion US embassy in Nine Elms, south of the Thames. Sources suggested he was unhappy about the arrangements and the scale of the visit. Then, a few minutes before 5 a.m., Mr. Trump confirmed the story, tweeting that he had cancelled his trip because he was not a big fan of the Obama administration having sold perhaps the best located and finest embassy in London for peanuts, only to build a new one in an off location for $1.2 billion. He denounced the decision to move the embassy from Grosvenor Square as a bad deal, adding, wanted me to cut ribbon no. U.S. Ambassador to the U.K. Robert Johnson said he agreed that the embassy's old location on Grosvenor Square was perfect but that a move was forced by security concerns following the September 11 terror attacks. Madame Tussauds arranged for Mr. Trump to visit the embassy yesterday, in waxwork form. Diplomatic staff and construction workers crowded around the model and posed for selfies. British officials were last night still hoping the president could come to Britain at some point this year. 
ministers even discussed a plan for him to meet the Queen at Balmoral instead of London. But Mr. Khan, who clashed with Mr. Trump after he criticized his handling of the London Bridge terror attack, said, his visit next month would without doubt have been met by mass peaceful protests. This just reinforces what a mistake it was for Theresa May to rush and extend an invitation of a state visit in the first place. While reporters are attempting to make this new detail appear to be a huge snub the real question people need to be asking is why should President Trump care? He doesn't have a personal relationship with the royals, he has never expressed a desire to create a close relationship, and he has American business to take care of. He hardly has the desire or the time to be concerned with whether or not the royal family invites him to the wedding. This is literally one of the most irrelevant news stories that the left is choosing to report and write on. They are only doing it to try and make the president look bad when in reality there are far worse things to be concerned about. Share if you agree, if you agree.